Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, this is intended for a connection you believe you have with somebody, whether you're together or not. You do have to at least know each other and believe to be uh, a connection between the two of you. So uh, we'll see what we get here. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. However, if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box, as well as a ton of other stuff, so feel free to check that out. Please only take this how it resonates, um, may not even resonate for you. Um, energies can be interchangeable. Um, if it doesn't resonate for you, again, you can check the pl playlist down below uh, and watch past readings. I do consider all my readings timeless. Um, that being said, I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So, Aries... Also, if you're new and uh, want to check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to subscribe. You get about four to five readings a month, and they're all different. And if you do, thank you so much. I do have singles readings on my channel. So if you are single and you're wondering about new love, feel free to watch those also. Those may resonate for you, perhaps. So feel free to check that out in the description box. Links to your pri uh, love and general readings are down there. All right, so let's see what we have for Aries. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or a planet. And remember also, this could be past, present, or future um, energies also, so please keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you, you can check other signs in your chart. Link below to get your uh, free birth chart. All right, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet for you Aries, and then I'll pull one of these. This is a new deck for me, the Magdalene deck. All my decks are listed below if you're interested in those. Um, I'll pull opening energy for your connection, then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're feeling about each other in the connection, one for the mutual energy. Clarify with the tarot. We'll look, clarify all that energy, look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, bottom of the deck clarification, and then we'll get uh, extra mes messages at the end with the angel answers. So let's see what we have for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective spirit, please. Can we get a sign, element, or planet? See that how that plays into Aries reading. If whatever comes out here doesn't resonate, that's fine. Rest of the reading still might be for you, so only take the parts that resonate. If it's not your story, if it's not fitting, please don't try to make it fit. It's probably not your reading. Hold out for future readings, or like I said, you can go back and watch past readings. Alrighty, Aries, what do we have? So we have Earth Energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but Earth is a very stable, grounded energy. It's about growth, expansion, prosperity. It's about being smart, practical, and wise, uh, taking your time, not rushing, transformation kind of energy also. It's very healing, transformational, so... See how that plays into your reading. If you add 26, that's 8. And 8 is about action, travel, communication. So let's see how that plays into your reading. And that's fall energy. So I don't know if... Because um, Earth does represent the pentacles. And pentacles is fall energy. So I don't know if the fall season is significant in, in any way, shape, or form. All right. So to me, it's um, fall energy. So... All right, let's get one for the opening energy of Aries and whoever they're thinking about at this time for this reading spirit, please. The Aries Collective and love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we got War and Peace. This just, just came out for um, Virgo. So War and Peace. So there may be some up and down times between you and your person, you know, it, in and out energy, you know, fight, make up, fight, make up kind of energy. So, or it could be outer influences, uh, meddling in your connection, causing, you know, disruptions in your connection also. And you're just wanting peace, you know, everybody just peace. So we'll see how that plays out. So that's too many. So let's get one for you and one for your person. If I mention the signs, um... That's fine. If I don't, that's fine too. It's all just energy. All right, so let's get one for Aries. Aries, I'll put you here, your person there. But like I said, if any time you feel like the energies need to be switched, then please do that. 
All right, or if there has been war or if you're in a breakup right now, I'm feeling like maybe you both are in that energy of just wanting peace, you know, and it may not be, you know, coming back together. It could be, you know, just having like closure, peaceful resolution kind of energy. All right. You know, making things stable between the two of you in some way, especially if there's family involved. All right, so Aries, let's see how you're feeling about your person in the connection. Heart and soul. So I feel like, you know, your heart and soul, your whole body um, has, be, has been or is dedicated to this person. So very connected through the heart and the soul with this person, I feel. And I notice the colors are very similar here. All right, so how does your person feel? Revelation. So they're about to reveal something here, or they've had a big revelation of some kind. Um, illumination. Enlightenment. About to reveal uh, something here. A lot of the same color I'm seeing. So let's see what the mutual energy is. Miracles. Oh, I just had this card too. With War and Peace for uh, Virgo. So, I think you're both expecting a miracle <laughs> here. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of up and down energy, in and out energy, a lot of arguing, bickering, you know, come together, then we're apart, you know, a lot of hard, troubling times. And I feel like you, know, you were very, very dedicated to this person, either still or at one time. And, you know, the both of you feel like it could be a miracle if this could just work in some way, shape, or form. Again, like I said, if it's just, you know, this energy between the two of you or maybe even outer influences uh, affecting this. I'm getting also be a miracle if everyone could just see eye to eye. There's like a hole in this tree and it's right under earth. So, I mean, the roots have been planted, you know, in this connection. But in its growth, there's a hole. There's a hole in there somewhere. So there's like a hole in the soul of this tree. So <laughs> somewhere along the line, uh, there's been interference that separated the two of you, or it's just um, the two of you together. But your person's about to reveal something here, or they've had an epiphany, aha moment, a revelation of some kind. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's going on here for you, Aries. We need to mend this hole here, you know, and that is that earth energy. It is about regrowth, expansion, um, kind of energy. So let's see, can we patch this up? Can we make it more stable? All right, what's going on with you, Aries? I'm going to put two uh, for each card to give more clarification. So, Aries, two for your person, two for Aries' person. There we go. And then two for the connection. Oh, okay, on that one. One more. Right here. Okay, so let's see what we have for you, Aries, with heart and soul. So, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. And the emperor is Aries, that's your energy. So emperor, empress, male, female. So, you know, knowing value, your worth, uh, coming out as a divine counterpart here. Um, the five of pentacles is feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. So you could be in this energy where you felt like you gave your all to this person, you invested fully in them. Um, you know, being the leader or being that take charge kind of person. Maybe being the leader of this, um, take charge of this relationship. But now you're kind of like out in the cold here, feel or feeling out in the cold from this person. It's like you gave it your all, you gave this person your all, and now we're kind of like out in the cold here. Let's see what your person has. So they have the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So the Four of Pentacles, you know, is about holding back, not giving. It could also be holding on, not letting go. We have the Seven of Wands, which can be about putting up a guard, being defensive, or it can be an energy of fighting off or fighting for. 
So they're holding back. So it could go either way with either of these cards. It could be holding back and not giving and being defensive towards you. Or there could be an energy of holding on to you, not wanting to let you go and wanting to fight for you. So, and this could be the big revelation here. Like, what is their choice? What are they going to do here? So let's see what the mutual energy is. So we have the Three of Pentacles and the Moon. So there's an energy here of wanting to work this out, being but being unsure how this would work. Because the Moon can be about not seeing things clearly, um, kind of energy, deep emotions. So there definitely is a lot of emotions in this connection in some way, shape, or form that's involved here. And we have the Emperor, which is masculine. We have the Moon, which is feminine. So we have divine counterparts here, soulmates at least. So it's an energy of wanting to work it out, but it'd be a miracle if we could figure out a way, a path to working this out. I think they're a little confused. That's why they've been holding back. But, I mean, they could be coming in fighting for this. I mean, the Emperor is also that, an energy of, you know, that take charge kind of energy. So let's get more tarot on this so we can clarify exactly what's going on here. The Prince of Cups. So we have the Page of Cups energy here. So that could be, um, you know, apologies, love and communication. Uh, sometimes that can be indicative of having, you know, being with a child or children. Okay, what else here? This could be a family tree. The Princess of Cups. So the Prince of Cups here. Actually, I think that's the Knight of Cups. So the uh, moon here, we had uh, Cancer Pisces. So now we have, I believe the Prince here, that's the Knight of Cups. So that's Scorpio. We have Death here again with Scorpio. So you have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. So that's actually movement forward with apologies, um, forward movement in love. But we have Death here. So this is either... This is ending, or this is a transformation. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Let me just make sure my cards aren't upside down. So, you know, that's a fiery, passionate new beginning. So there's a lack here to start this over, to get the passion ignited, to fuel the fire, to get this going. It's like that fire can't be lit, that furnace can't start. It's like, you know... It's like wanting to, but it, it's not, because you see the fire here. So, oh boy, okay, so what else here? So now we have the Princess of Wands and the Prince of Wands. We've got all this uh, knight and messenger energy. So there's an energy here of wanting to take action and wanting to communicate, but I feel like it's kind of just stuck, like nobody's taking action. You know, every, you know, both feeling like, you know, it's just a lost cause, like this just isn't going to work. So this is a lack of getting this going again with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So the Prince of Wands here could be uh, Leo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So now we have the Princess and the Prince of Wands coming out. We just had the Princess and the Prince of Cups that come out. So we got love and passion here. So there definitely is love and passion between two people, but there's a failure to get this ignited again thinking it's over, and that's just it. But both in this energy of wanting to take action and communicate, love and passion, but it's kind of, it's stuck here. It's stuck, like no action's being taken. So I don't know. Um, I mean, they're having a revelation here, so are about to reveal something, um, or they want to, because, you know, we got the messenger and the uh, knight. So I think, you know, they had a revelation and maybe they want to tell you how much, you know, passion and love they have, deep feelings, and they want to fight for this and they don't want to let go. But again, nothing's happening because there's a hole in the tree there. So, <laughs> oh boy. So let's get advice or guidance. So we got the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, this definitely needs to be uh, worked on here. The Eight of Pentacles, can we mend? Can we patch this up? It's going to take some work here. Let's see what else. So only you would know what is blocking this uh, connection. Um, 
if it's outer influences or just, you know, different points of view, different, you know, I don't know, but whatever here, it's been, something's been a battle. The Five of Swords, yeah, not knowing whether or not to give up for the, give this up or fight for it. Is this a losing battle? Is this a lost cause? Should we work on this? But there's a brand new beginning. It's stable, it's grounded, it's secure for the long term. So the energy is here to have this start fresh, new, stable, and grounded in that earth energy moving forward to total abundance and prosperity for the future for the long term. If we can work on this and get it going and not give up with the Five of Swords energy, thinking it's just a losing battle, it's a lost cause, you know, fight for nothing. All right, what else here? What else here? King of Cups, Pisces energy, King of Queen. So there's definitely love and emotions here. And the King energy, whether male, female, whatever, but this energy, sometimes they don't always say how they truly feel. They may show it, but they may not verbalize it all that well. But there definitely is love and emotions involved here. And wanting stability for the long term. This can be had if it's worked on. Three of Wands, so there's an energy of waiting here. Still waiting for the right time. Waiting for the ships to come in. So this is the advice I got in guidance. Um, waiting for the right time that we can work on this, however that means for you. Whether it, mean, whether it means, you know, tell quarantine it's done. Or there's peace, you know, in the outer influences or just peace in the situation. Then we can build on this if we can work on it again. Not to give up just yet. Because you do have the offer right here. Right here. For the long term. And love and emotions. But three of wands, you know, those ships are yours. They are coming in. So. Okay, so let's get some... It seems kind of vague, so depending on your situation, you know, every situation is different. That's why it's vague. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome. So now we have the devil, Capricorn. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's get a few more. The Hierophant. Wow. So we got the devil, and then we got the Hierophant. Oh, boy. Okay, so what else here? The Prince of Pentacles. Now we got the Knight of Pentacles. So a lot of knights and pages here. So one more for a possible outcome for Aries. The High Priestess. Wow. So we got the High Priestess and the Hierophant overcoming the toxic devil energy. I feel like this is both your energies now. Taking this forward movement, you know, taking this steady, practical, um, and that's that earth energy. This is, you know, slow movement forward, but it's stable, it's secure, it's grounded, it's smart, wise, practical, cautious energy. Moving very, you know, move very slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. So now I feel like Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. High Priestess is Pisces. Capricorn with the Devil. But I feel like this could be both your energy because we got masculine and feminine energy here. So I feel like we have the energies coming together to take forward movement on this very slowly, practically moving forward, being very smart and overcoming any negative energies around you or negative, um, whatever this toxic negative energy is, it's over here. It's over here. We have all this energy here. So this can be overcome, whatever it is for you. This external, internal, between the two of you, whatever. This could also lead to, you know, higher commitment, marriage in some way, shape or form with the Hierophant. Needing to listen to gut intuition kind of energy also. And the high priestess usually keeps to themselves. So kind of keeping it on the down low just between the two of you um, also. So maybe that's an energy of not like getting other people involved for some reason. Because maybe this is that toxic energy. However that means for you. Let's get more clarity with the bottom of the deck. I'm going to take about five. Well, we got the sun here. So I have to take that. So we have the two of cups. So there's the soulmates coming together. The empress. Then we have the emperor right here. So now we've got the divine couple. We definitely have soulmates here. Emperor, empress, matching couple. The world, closing cycles, starting new cycles. 
The Empress here is that Libra Taurus. The world here could be uh, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Scorpio. Closing cycles, no longer serving, healing, transforming, starting new cycles, whole new world, whole new way. Queen of Swords, and I had just said that, cutting out energies, no longer serving, divine clarity, divine intervention, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is, open, honest communication, making a final judgment call here, decision. We have Scorpio energy here. So making a final deci decision and judgment call, and this resurrects the soulmates energy here, coming back together. And we have the soulmates here with the Two of Cups. Two, peace, happiness. Right now we have masculine energy with the sun, and we have feminine energy over here with the moon. D divine counterparts, once again, heavy soulmate energy here, possibly twin flame. But... The sun is the happiest card, so success, victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, um, enlightenment. So most positive card in the deck. So there we go with your positive outcome. So whatever is affecting this in a negative way, which caused this war and peace, I see it can be overcome if we put the work in here to mend this and uh, overcome whatever toxic energy is surrounding this in some way shape or form all right so i don't think it's over yet it's not a losing battle yet all right so let's get some closing messages for you aries closing messages for you aries for this connection aries and their person extra messages for aries and their person spirit please thank you so much no need to worry exactly we can work on it together, moving forward. As with the Prince of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles energy. Compromise, exactly. So again, we got the scales here for balance, justice. Don't stop. So I don't feel it's over yet. It's not over yet. This isn't a losing battle yet. Yes, so, yep. Not over yet. Anything else? Or Aries? And forgiveness. So it all starts with healing and forgiveness here. And on the bottom here, within the next few weeks. So there you go, Aries. Wow. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.